We got zombies incoming. Hold on, I'm coming. Come with me if you want to live. Bad news alert. I'm listening. Use the help of a friendly listener right about now. would be the juggernaut. That juggernaut's close. I'm listening. After you. And 
that's a juggernaut. <laughs> This is quite a load I'm carrying. Yes? I've got your back. I'm listening. I used to think a lot about dying. That's what happens when you lose everyone you ever loved. I don't worry about dying anymore. When it's my time, it's my time. Today belongs to me. I'm carrying a bit much right now.
Uh-huh. I've got your back. Got a horde in the area. More of that. Nothing here, like at all. Oh, this again. Fabulous. It's a shame nobody really built anything to last, you know. I refuse to cry about this.
first. Front and back. Front. Ah! I be any louder? Oh, goody. We can survive anything, as long as we stay together and protect our own. Bit of a fixer upper, but this place could make a nice home. Zombies shambling toward base. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Ah, uh, nope. We still got company.
sweet boy for a while, I guess. <laughs> Done. Hard work pays off. During my divorce, I thought that losing my family, my kids, was the worst thing I'd ever experienced. Now I go through the same thing almost every week. Too loud. People are getting a bit peckish. We could use more food around here. We have too many people living here. Has to be a fire hazard. You do know that all this noise is going to literally wake the dead, right? Sure would be nice to have some more food in the cupboard.
If we don't find more food soon, I might start getting mean. We need to do something about these infestations. Need to learn to meditate or knock your damn heads together. Ooh, we're getting low on bullets and stuff. <sighs> Dear God, I'm tired. Looking so hot just now. Shit, I think I actually just learned something. Their trouble.
Would it kill these people to actually give a shit about me? Think of it this way. You're alive. Everything else is gravy. I'll be back before you miss me. I should probably take a break before I fall over. A bloater. So gross. Even by our standards, that was bullshit. I don't know what I did to deserve this kind of treatment.
Right here, you. you can see that we've got a ni really nice base here. I've just been talking to you, and my mic was muted. Um, that's it for to for today. The um, that was into the night shift because it's now daytime, bright sunny morning. Sun's just coming out, right, rising in the sky from over that way. Yeah, on that tree. I reckon it's about you know nine, eight, or nine o'clock in the morning. Maybe ten o'clock in the morning. I don't know. So we've had a long night, I'm just trying to make the time up a bit more balanced because now that was 40 minutes of that uh, because I got out of whack slightly. Anyway, I'll come back in the next video. See you in the next video. I usually release a video every day. Remember to um, you know, like and subscribe if you wish. Um, if you're going to give us a comment, please try and be kind and I will hopefully... Um, be reading your comments uh, really what what you see this game where you see it going and uh, you know what you want for the future of it and maybe we could even point the developer to some of my videos and say hey this guy has some good ideas here pardon me but you know developers get things wrong all the time like they don't understand how I we're just watching this get built. This is the car, car bay, of course. They just don't understand sometimes. It's like the artist doesn't understand mechanics or the... Um, and not in mecha game mechanics. I mean, he doesn't understand the mechanics of a warehouse, how it works. And they'll build shelves which are too high and too narrow and then put massive boxes on them um, and stack them from the top to the bottom and, you know containers five high in one like that container you wouldn't stack those that's like a 20 foot container I'm judging by the scale of a person that's about a 20 foot container you get 10 20 and 30 and 40 foot containers and why do I know this because I used to build them these go on the back so always but I used to build them for um, building sites for uh, um, you know, uh, there were draftsmen's Anyone, books, there were offices, me. there were uh, combinations, tool sheds, all sorts of things, uh, canteens, um, cloakrooms that you put on a building site and then w w we never actually built the ones for the lorries but they were based exactly the same chassis as the lorry although it was a stronger chassis that we used to have to build them on because they're going to be lived in and lifted about and we even built them for um, marine installations like uh, out on the North Sea platforms. Anyway, so that's a 20 foot container and basically uh, you wouldn't stack that five high. There's no way you'd go on the docks in the real world and see just those stacked five high with nothing either side. What they do is they stack maybe one on top of the other or they'll stack one side by side and then one on top of the other. This stops them from being blown over. When it goes three high, they would have two at one side. You know, so they have rules and regulations on how these are stacked. But you go into like GTA, or you go into sometimes in other games, and you'll see just one stack of them about four high. And they'll be in a yard where there's no way, um, even if they're empty, an empty container handler, like the one you get in that mission in um, GTA 5, where you're driving an empty container handler around for Trevor and that um, in that mission if you know that I, I refer to those types of games because a lot of people a lot more people know GTA than they know this game because um, it's much more well patronised and subscribed to but um, 
The empty container handlers are basically like a big forklift truck but they grab the container from the top. They don't have forks that go underneath. They can have but they don't when they're uh, handling containers because they lock into those um, corner holes which aren't quite correct on that container there. Anyhow, the, they can only stack them about three or four high. They can't, they can't very rarely, unless it's a telehandler type of a telescopic fork, they can't usually get any higher than three or four. But yeah, I've seen them as high as six, you know. So we're just waiting for this to be built. I was hoping it was just going to pop up and, you know, we'll see our car be, being built. But, um, We've got 44 minutes on this now. I suppose we can just wait a few more minutes to see whether, whether she builds this. Let's go and shut the door for her. So I'm sure I have more hands on deck. We'll go and we'll run up this way. We'll keep our eyes on that and we'll try and upgrade this workshop one more. We've got... can't upgrade the kitchen any more than what we have done. We ain't got enough food anyway. We might be able to upgrade the farm one more, but we can actually give it some seeds. And we can also pop in... And we could have done if we hadn't put that Don't in. I could have be convinced by conspiracy theories. Neither the army nor the government had anything to do with the outbreak. In the kitchen, we can either put in a co uh, cooking pot uh, canning station, sorry. It increases five storage. We don't need the five storage. Um, air tech con two storage. Um, 50 plus action speed with power, which we have got, so I think we'll have that in the kitchen. So, should we ever get around to making anything, in here we need to put the 7.62. Um, other thing, but I've just upgraded it, so I've got to wait now until she's finished building the things. And what we'll do is we'll climb back up on the roof, or we'll run back in here and upgrade the um, infirmary. We can't. We can put the um, pill making station back in then. Bad. We can't upgrade the... This is supposed to be the police armory. Now I'm going to be playing State of K Decay again later tonight uh, with my sons. Uh, multiplayer, but on a different uh, a different group. I'm not going to be using this group because this is all girls, Trade Apart, Trade Legacy, and they are not to play with anyone else. Like multiplayer, it's not multiplayer. So I was just hoping to keep my eyes on these two while we uh, we build this up. Anyway, say so anyway. Thanks for watching. I will um, see you next time. Bye-bye.